from maintaining a central source of information to directing and also coordinating with all of the other activities of the help desk staff the life of a desktop support manager revolves around with welcome to freshers now channel and today's video we are going to know about all the job roles which are associated or interlinked with a desktop support manager how is their pay scale going to be in various other cities in india and also how are the skills that are being associated with this and what are the skills that are need to be incorporated along with their degree or their specializations so apart from all of this we are now just going to be focusing about what is the definition about a desktop support manager now this person is going to be a central source for helping and also maintaining all the activities in regards to computer operations so providing the customers and also their clients uh, about different solutions resolving various other issues which are in regards to computers and also in resolving about whichever issues or whatever chaos that they are be working in now heading over to the definition which will be easily understood as you had already a brief outlook about the person you would be knowing about what this person is so the desktop support manager has to have knowledge about all of the best and also the common practices which are essential to successfully manage implement and also to understand the operational point of view the tactical components which are associated with this and also to know how to support the organization which also needs strategical points and outlooks aligning with all the needs of the businesses that the company or the organization is looking in for so he or she will be associated with various other sectors or various other components which will be further aligned with the operational outputs and various other fulfilling needs and the all the requirements of the business or the client as well so as i've already mentioned the person should be maintaining a central source of information having acquired a maximum amount of knowledge in regards to all the strategical view points and also the outlooks as to how the operations are going to be executed in the first place another key point which is in regards to this desktop support manager is that the person should also be assuring with all of the works or the operations that are being implemented also should know about the developmental point of view in order to see what are the alignments which are being made and what are the procedures which are being further taken on a stage level wise so this will be further leading to performing all of the evaluations and all the promotions which are in alignment with all of these so in accordance with that the person should be eventually having a ton amount of exposure in regards to whatever the computer operations which are being functioned by the staff now that you have understood a brief outlook about what is this person you will be now understanding about the desktop support managers skills that he or she should know so before i head into the skills which are being listed here on the screen i would be telling you what are the components which are he or she is being associated with or will be associated to now for a desktop support manager the first or the foremost thing that the person will be associated is going to be in regards to the management or you will be also knowing the development operational point of view you will also further be assisting evaluating all the other various operations which are in regards to the staff which are being aligned with their projects or whichever the work that they are being assigned to and the third one is being assisting or being under the developmental point of view in regards to the projects which are being assigned or which are being programmed and the fourth most important thing is having knowledge about software applications and also about hardware for pc he or she should have a good bunch of exposure in regarding to all of these basic elements which i have just mentioned so these are the four points and the fifth most important thing which is going to be throughout the career which is assuring the users as to how it is being functional and very effective 
towards a long run basis. So these are the five components which are aligned. So in order to achieve these or to implement these in an effective manner, the person should be inculcating all of the skills which are mentioned here. First one heading over to having Microsoft skills, having critical thinking to analyze the situation, the capacity to understand and also give a critical outlook and analysis over the issue and then bringing out an output regardless with the processes and crossing out various stages and also creatively solving the problem that means meeting the needs of the users or the client and also having strong leadership analytical and also problem solving skills. Along with that, the person should also have interpersonal skills in order to be communicating effectively with the team, organization, company or the client and also resolving all of the issues with the user as well. He or she should be making sure that the user is being understandable and also knowing about what the component is being placed as to how the operations are being evaluated with. And the next step that we are going to understand is about what does this person actually does. In regards being a central source of information, providing the key source to the company for the development of the organization, apart from all of these maintenance of other activities and helping the help desk team and all of these stuff, the person actually does this. So to understand this, so the person will be actually overseeing all of the operations which are being done. So this can be under technical support, a staff and also in companies dedicated to helping their customers. So the person will be aligning, aligning with the technical department as well as meeting the customer's uh, needs or the issues or the reviews which are being faced. So uh, the person will be to be honest, we can say that this person can be an, called an all-rounder in an organization in bringing out the development of the company. And also it will be looking out to resolve the issues with their desktop computers, etc. So likewise, this person is called as a desktop manager and will be working out on several operations and helping out the desktop team in order to make sure to bring out an effective functioning of the department. The next section that we are going to now head over and understand is about how you can become one. So if you are a person who is very keen enough in bring, being an all-rounder on taking up about different departments to help and to understand the user and the customer needs, this is the right set for you. So in order to become a desktop support manager, you have to make sure that you are having the skills or the set that which are mentioned here. Apart from your degrees, your graduations, apart from all of the academic stuff and other specializations, these are the skill set and the core components and the essential criteria that you need to be fulfilling. So the first stop is being having experience in such roles. No matter you start with an entry level job, you would be further developing and your career will be obviously taking a leap high. So you will be having an experience in such roles as a system administrator. You would be understanding the various components which are interlinked with the other systems and also the admin team as well. So you will be working with various other people and understanding their perspectives, their working style and also how they are being operated with or the desktop support technician as well. So you can start at any job role right from the entry level and then you would be further becoming a desktop support manager. Now you should also have an understanding with the troubleshooting techniques. Unless and until you would not know about the techniques or the frameworks or as to how they are being operated to and how the implementations are being made at every stage of the process, you would not be knowing as to how it is being done in a very quite easy and an effective manner. So the obvious the organization or the company will be looking for an easy and a quick processor who can understand and troubleshoot the issues quickly. And experience in managing large team of technicians, so this would be the prior uh, thing that the person should be achieving with. Not just working with a set of team, but also leading them is a prior task as well. And then experience with desktop support for a large customer base. 
so you should be also having a various terms of exposure in handling out the customer basis as to which location or the locality that you are belonging and what are their needs based on so you should understand the customers or the clients perspective along with that you should also understand the team's perspective as to what they are working and bringing the output on and how they are rebuilding it into the satisfaction or in bringing out a satisfactory means of the client or the customer now we will be looking into the various job roles which are being associated with a desktop support manager now in order for you to start from an entry level you should possess some of these components so that you would be able to understand the role as well as to do it very efficiently so the first part is the job role associated to this particular position is OOC desktop services and for that it includes evaluation and training also. So as I have said it is not just about implementation or the support it also need evaluating various other computer operations and also undergoing through various other training periods not only you but also with your team alongside with you and track data and the right reports. So documentation is considered a very essential part in this unless and until you document everything you won't be understanding uh, about all of the stages that you have gone through. It will be also easy for your team to understand to process as well as bring an effective outlook. The next one is to test and update the existing and the new software to ensure that it is running efficiently to bringing out its compatibility and the utility to the user or the customer in a very efficient manner. So you should also understand how and when to make sure that you are updating the present software so that it will be enabling to bring a good outlook and an improvised outlook to the customer. So these are the some of the job roles which are associated with this. So you can start off from an entry level by possessing all of these components which are essential here. As of now you have understood everything about what a desktop support manager does. Now how is he or she is being placed in India? This is taken on an average basis only. The amount which I'm going to now mention is not an exact amount that every company is going to provide you. As the source is taken from Payscale, you can check out their website as well. Other than that, this is just going to be for your idea as to how they are being just paid. So no matter where you land up in any city that I'm going to mention, you are going to get a good kickstart of your career. Overall in India and on an average basis, a desktop support manager is paid 7 lakhs per annum. So this is a good leap of amount. So once you start your career, your career is going to take a good steep of height. So there are no sorts of fluctuations or any sort of uh, gaps or any sort of lows for this particular career. So as you can see, the steep is very high over the years. So this is going to start from 1 to 4 years and ranging up to 10 to 19. So just in a span of very less period of time within 10 years, the steep is going to take a very good leap of over the career perspective. The pay is going to be around 7 lakhs per annum in all of the major cities. Now this is going to be according to the company that you are going to land up and various other organizations as well. Now every city doesn't give you 7 lakhs per annum or 6 lakhs or some is also going to charge you around uh, 5 lakhs 60 as well. So this is not the payoff that you are going to get in every organization. So as of some they are also paying you around 6 lakhs 12,000. So it is going to be varying according to the place, the organization that you have chosen, the skill set that you are acquiring. Apart from that your academics, your specializations also will be taken into account. And the final thing is as to how you are being operated with, the what kind of exposure that you are having and also what are the previous projects or also what are the panels that you have already been worked with. All of this will be taken into account and then further you will be further being placed. So in considering all this, let's start off with a, from a basic entry level job if you are a fresher and if you are already experienced, you can just level up in bringing out the best creative outlook in whichever team that you are being worked upon and bring out your software with a very good update and also a very good perspective as well. If you have any other suggestions or any other opinions, you can place them in the comment section. Do subscribe and stay tuned for more videos like these for all the career and also how are they being landed in major cities in India. Subscribe and thank you for watching.